Hey guys, it's Joe Carter here. Welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be the first in a new series of videos, which are going to be about me researching a new non-fiction book to read each month. It may not be each month, depending on how quickly I read whichever ebook I'm doing, but at least at the moment, I'm thinking once a month. So the topic, I'm in my dining room at the moment. Hopefully when I get a stand, a light stand, which I've decided which one I want, but it's not available at the moment. Hopefully when I get a light stand, I'll be able to do this on my desk and I can actually have my camera so that behind me or to the side of me are some books. So it's a bit more interesting. You can actually film my screen on my MacBook and that can be most of the video and I'll just have my head up in the corner to be the voiceover while I'm going through this journey. So I'm going to be, the topic that I'm wanting to research to find a non-fiction audio book is Nazi Germany. What I'm most interested in is actually how the, how Hitler and his political party took over, which I believe just based on some titles that I've looked at is called The Third Reach. What I don't know is one, I don't know exactly what that war was about. I believe it's the Second World War, but I don't know was the war because they didn't agree with Hitler's political opinions or did the rest of the world only come in and create a war when they found out what was happening to the Jewish people. I'm also curious about how Hitler, how his ideals resonated enough with the German people to allow him to ascend into power. And just, I guess, what, aside from being racist towards Jewish people, I want to know what his political parties were and what his beliefs and what his political party was fighting for. So I'm going to, let's have a Google. I have an Audible subscription. I'm not sponsored. That'd be nice. But I have an Audible subscription. They were actually, Audible was really lovely during the bushfires in Australia, they actually gave us three months free membership. So thank you, Audible. So I'm going to go to Audible. It's going to be fun to sync up this with this. <laughs> and I think I might just search Nazi. <laughs> okay. So the rise and fall of the Third Reach. I thought this might be good, but I'm really fussy about what non-fiction books I want and what I don't because I want it to be correct and I want it to be entertaining, which is maybe going to be hard to find. But if I put in the rise and fall of the third reach into Google and see what comes up, okay, by William L. Shurer. The both said that the third reach with us last some years last only 12 years. I did read, I think that I read in here because I've already sort of before I came up with this video idea, I did a bit of research beforehand. It was this guy that something that pretty much said that the German people knew what was happening in the death camps and they allowed it, which is I don't I don't think is correct. Obviously the Jewish people were treated really horribly over there, but the Germans, like the wider community and citizens of Germany, didn't know the extent to what was happening, which makes it, I guess, a little bit better. Yeah, it, so it's not, maybe they've updated it a little bit because this new edition here is obviously, yeah, 50th anniversary edition. But this one is the unabridged audiobook. And it has a passage that says... This is a richly rewarding experience for anybody who wants to come to grips with the mysterious question of how this menace to civilization ever came into being, much less was sustained for as long as it was, which is the question I want to answer. The answer, unfortunately, is that most of Germany, for a host, for a whole host of reasons, embraced Nazi, Nazism and the fantasism that Hitler engendered. And that kind of depressed me before I read a bad review on Goodreads, so we'll flip across to, so if I change, I think it was a two star, someone called Michael, yeah there he is, Michael, it, yeah so out, outdated and flawed, 
from, from experience, bias, pro-American perspective that verifies the myth of the greatest generation and the heroism of the Allies and unquestionably do monetize the other side. But in his comments, there was someone that wrote, this is one lady who commented on Michael's review. Her name is Lilo. And she says, I did not read the book, but I saw the two part TV documentation. My husband and I were put off because the documentation, which I guess she means documentary, came to the conclusion that the German public must have known what was going on in concentration camps. Fact is that the general public didn't know because Hitler did not want it to know. Anyone who knew and told about it would have landed there him slash herself. Of course, the general public knew that concentration camps were no health resorts, yet there is quite a difference between what they were presumed to be and what they really were. That, I would say, is pretty accurate and, and I would hope. So I'm kind of turned off by that a little bit. Oh, hey, babe. Come on. Oh, come on. He's a little puppy. He only wants because my plate from dinner is still here. Push that over there. No, you may not go. So I think I'm going to probably not read that one. And then if we go, because I don't like, I think that, you know, the Nazi officer's wife, how one Jewish woman survived the Holocaust, that'd be interesting. But I want more of a history than just someone's account. Like I want to know the broad scope of what happened. This isn't really helping. Maybe if I type in the third reach might help. Third reach in L. Okay, this is one I haven't actually. Because Michael, back in the review on Goodreads, he does actually suggest a book. But I'm just going to follow this. I'm going to open it Goodreads. I'm going to follow this path for a little bit because even with the one that he suggested, which I will go back and show you guys, but it was a more modern take on it but the author apparently pushed a lot of his political views on people which I don't want I you tell me the facts I'm a pretty good judge of what's wrong and what's right I don't really need your political views I guess so this is by Richard J Evans the third reaching power up oh, I've already looked at his stuff I think I have because if I go to so from one of the works a ministerial new reckoning with Hitler's rise to power and the collapse of the civilization in Nazi Germany which is like this is what I want to know you guys need to see this it's so cute we don't enjoy this much more now that he's doing it. So I'm going to keep the camera on him. If I go to to Star Reads, to Star Reviews, yeah, Erica's. I read a lot about Germany. I wrote my undergrad thesis on the time period, but this book just fell flat. Evan also states in the intro that this is the perfect book for beginners who don't know much about the time period, and I disagree. I think it's much too long, and frankly, isn't interesting enough. Interesting enough for beginners of this period, this is more of a comparison between the communist and facets in pre-war Germany, but after several hundred pages of that, I just wanted more from this. And then this one, this is also, like, I mean, I'm in the two-star review, so it's going to be bad. This was probably the closest one that I got to being happy. Everyone presents a powerful picture. This is from Lewis Weinstein. Weinstein? Weinstein. Half a picture of the Nazi takeover before and after Hitler's appointment as Chancellor on January the 30th, 1933. However, and it is a huge horror, I am finding too many examples where statements are made by Evans without any footnotes and also omissions of convenient evidence. Right. Mm. It may be too detailed. <laughs> So that's, if I go back to audio, they're all by the same people. It's the fall of France. 
Okay, what's this? A brief history of the Third Reach, the war, the rise and fall of the Nazis. That might be. I think I'm not going to read that one. So I'm happy to overtake this. Oh, I need to get rid of the word sample at the start of it. Is it by again? Martin, isn't it? Martin with a Y, we talk. I'm going to be a Martin next to you. How crazy. I feel, oh, the dog's laid down on his chair. Here's his little head. Even if COVID stuff is happening, we're still getting married next year. I know this is a broad statement for me to be making without Daniel, but even if we just like, I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't really matter because um, there's nothing rushing us to get married. But I want to be. Beginning in the broken aftermath of the First World War, okay, and the Treaty of Versailles that made German hotels not just the account of the men who rose to the fore in the dangerous days of the Roman Republic, something around the cold of person. Ordinary Germans became seduced by the dreams of a new world order, the Third Reach. The book also gives a fascinating insight. This was such as how did the Germans know about the Holocaust? So if I go to, oh, so not a lot of people have reviewed this. So that's pretty, because I was a bit like, 3.88 isn't super great, but it doesn't look like a lot of people. So all the two stars, people haven't said anything. I've got the one stars. No. Three stars. No. Fundamental questions this book is trying to answer revolve around the support of German people for Nazi leadership, where they died because of course of there's no easy answer we're all, all, all along about the state of the country. Abolitionist was also the time when militants from every ideology actually thriving in Germany, Nazis own brown shirt while being the most organised was not unique at the time. I mean, there's not much negative things about, like, to say about it because there's not many people that have reviewed it. It sounds like it's going to answer everything I want it to. And the fact that the two and one star people weren't motivated enough. I like the fact that it talks about daily war in the blurb, like, um, in the blurb about daily life during the Second World War for Germans. That sounds interesting. Is there any other... It was children. It could be interesting to read one day. The soldiers, guests of the Third Reich, the Third Reich to rise and fall of Hitler's Germany, Reich, Ryan Jenkins. So 3.61 stars, eight reviews. <laughs> this book is by far the best concise account of the rise and fall of Adolf Hitler and the Third Reich that I have had the opportunity to read. Ryan Jenkins is both a gifted historian and writer. I believe that he was driven to provide his reader with a clear understanding how under the right circumstances. Okay, conversion is so short. Okay. <laughs> Complete the book. Here. Oh shit! It's one hour. Okay. All right. So let me listen. Let's go into this one. Martin is pretty much going to win. Is there any brief but thorough? Yep. That's good. Love the narration as well. That's good. Good introduction. Good necessarily leaves out much. Also very biased against the third beast and moralistic at times. Given our progressive understanding of genetics and popular population differences, Nazis for pseudoscience was in hindsight the most certain. Heather recommended this book 
to anyone interested in the Nazi regime and how Germany and why Germany did what they did in World War II. All right, I think I'm going to get this one. I think it it has, it is what I want to know. It sounds like it'll answer all those questions. And it doesn't seem to be inaccurate by the people who have reviewed it. I know not a lot of people have read it and reviewed it, but none of them are saying that it's wrong. Actually, I really like what's that. I suppose the worst thing about reading this book was an overpowering sense that humans are easy to coerce into a mindset of compliance if they're given a good enough reason, like a greater good, a better future, and protection for community outsiders who would do us harm or infect our way of life. <gasps> Chilling but accurate. That was by Nina. Before I read any more reviews, I'm going to quit that. I'm going to buy with my one credit confirm I really wanted to do this as well because I have spent like today not like not a lot of time but probably like over a couple of sessions trying to decide what to read and I just needed to sit down and do some research and work it out this is what I just yeah I just need to do that do some research I've got it I'm gonna read it and um hopefully learn more about this time which is it about communism, I think? I'm not going to do a reading vlog for this. Hopefully it'll be in my May wrap-up. And I can tell you guys if I liked it or not. So thanks everyone for watching. I put out videos every weekend and hopefully every Wednesday. And I hope this was enjoyable to watch. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let me know, like, did you enjoy this? Was it, like, boring? Was it interesting? Did it inspire you to want to look more at history probably by the time that each of these comes out I probably won't need recommendations on this point in history but if you've got an interesting point in history that you think I should read comment down below a really good book I don't know what part of history I want to read yet next um but yeah so I'll see you all again next time bye